In this video, I show you how to make these beautiful swimsuits and many more. So easy, no sewing or gluing. In part one, I transformed Charlie's no good hair to Hollywood hair. Now she's the perfect retro swimsuit model. Charlie's short hair made it easy to get her in and out of these swimsuits. All these swimsuits were made with balloons. They're so easy to make. No sewing or gluing required. And they're all so beautiful. Turn a plain white swimsuit into awesomeness with just a few add-ons. Let's get started. I use these little balloons for the tops. They can also be used for bottoms. They're about an inch wide when they're not inflated. These are the same size balloons, but with white polka dots. These too can be used for tops and bottoms. These heart-shaped balloons make awesome bottoms. These flower balloons are great for tops, but they're hard to find. These long skinny balloons are perfect for waistbands. These rainbow loom elastics make great straps. I'll show you how to cut this type of balloon into tops. This little pimple at the center top is called the drip point. Every balloon has one. Flatten the balloon and cut along the side to about a quarter inch from the drip point. Cut the other side until you get half an inch from the drip point. It should look like this. The cut that's closer to the drip point makes a bigger dip for the sweetheart neckline. If you can't cut it right, don't worry. If you add a strap to the middle, it won't matter. Take an elastic and wrap it around the middle. Open one end and grab the other end through. And that's your strap. These are the same size balloons. This is where you cut to make the bottoms. Flatten the balloon and fold it in half. These are the leg holes. Cut here for a low waist. And this is a swimsuit bottom. I prefer heart-shaped balloons for bottoms, but they can be hard to find. They're flat, so it's easier to cut them. Leg holes, perfect. And cut here for a low waist. I actually prefer high waist. Let's get a swimsuit on Charlie. I have two bottoms here. You can see how this is round and this one is flat. I'll put the round one on first. The top, get that strap over her head. Center the balloon on her chest. Take it to the back and tie a knot. The bottom. Sometimes the balloon sticks to the legs, but if you sprinkle some baby powder on the doll, oops, that's too much, no worries. Baby powder comes off easily. Just use a damp cloth or you can just brush it off with a makeup brush. This makes the balloon glide on. Easy peasy. Now the waistband. Take it to the back and tie a double knot. Cut off the excess balloon. Baby powder on the balloon will help the balloon not stick to itself, so it'll be easier to untie the knots. So this is just one way to wear the top. I'll show you another way. Take the strap off, center it on the chest, take it to the back and crisscross the ends. Wrap it around the arms, like this, and tie a knot in the back. The front, see the sweetheart neckline? So pretty. Now these balloons make the perfect sweetheart necklines. Cut down the middle to the center. Okay, let's get this on Charlie. Center it on her chest. The front won't stay up on its own, but I'll fix that. Cross it in the back and bring it to the front. 
and cross it to the back. Same for the other side. And tie the ends together. See how these straps are holding down the front? Here's a look at the back. Mm, I could have done this better. I'm going to change your bottom to this heart-shaped bottom. These look more retro. I really like them. Another way to tie the top. Center it on the chest. Crisscross in the back. Take one end and wrap it around her neck. And tie the ends together in the back. And there. Waistband goes on. And done. This bottom is cut from a balloon like this. And this top is the same size balloon as the bottom. Cross it in the back and take it to the front. Cross it right in the middle and take it to the back and tie a knot. And the waistband. And it'll look like this. For this swimsuit, you need a long, fat balloon. You could cut this in half to reduce the bulk. It'll look like this. I think it makes a nicer looking swimsuit, but to make this easy, I'll use the balloon just as it is. Find the center and wrap it around the neck. Pull each end one at a time through the legs and up to the back. Place a shorter piece of balloon on the waist and take it to the back and tie a knot. Cut the ends that are sticking out. I want to gather the strap at the shoulder. I'll use a piece of balloon. Slip it under and tie a real tight double knot. The tighter you pull, the smaller the knot will be. And cut. Do it to both sides. Here's one I made earlier. See how small the knots are? A row of diamond stickers for the waistband. Ooh la la! I'm going to show you how you can jazz up a basic swimsuit. This is a small balloon top and a heart balloon bottom. The top is crisscrossed in the back and wrapped really tight around the arms. So tight you can't even see it. Stickers really stick to balloons. Jewels, flowers, here's a little bow. Instant cuteness. Floral trim for a waistband. It gives it a whole new look. This hair elastic, put it over her head. Rainbow loom elastic, wrap it around twice. Pull it over the legs, take it to the back. Adjust it so the rainbow loom elastic sits at the waist. Another awesome swimsuit. Take some fabric cut like this, tie it around her waist. Some lace for a necklace, flower for her hair, and she's a tropical island beauty. Here are my four favorites from the 12 that I made. Which one is your favorite? The red one, the orange one, the purple one, or the white one? Post your answer in the comments section, or click on the i-card and take our poll. If you like one that's not one of these four, post the number of the swimsuit in the comments section. I hope this inspires you to create your own swimsuits for your dolls. Charlie loves swimsuits so much that she opened up a swimsuit shop. And guess who her first customer is? Every shop owner's nightmare. That's right, Emmy. Oh my goodness. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. If you like this video, 
click like. Check out these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.